operating an aircraft carrier allows you to play the maritime mind game. And India is the only country this side of the Suez that operates one. In fact, INS Virat, India's aircraft carrier, along with its multi-role Harrier fighter jets, the Sea King helicopters and the multi-purpose Shetak helicopters has on board 1,500 specialized men and is the pride of India's Navy. And for the next 30 minutes, we will show you what it takes to be on the aircraft carrier. She flounces. She imposes. She protects. She controls. India's only aircraft carrier, the INS Virat, is the centerpiece of the country's naval might. A daunting power in and around the subcontinent's waters. Because hers is no ordinary maritime presence. She is a floating airbase, a sovereign part of Indian territory that can steam anywhere in international waters. Her military garrison hosts fighter aircrafts and attack helicopters that can be launched from this mobile airfield to engage and neutralize surface, subsurface and aerial threats. A potent strategic presence in peace, a forward deployed force in war, the INS Virat is one of a kind in India's naval armada. This is a floating airfield. The air strike aircraft being air, fighters being available, that adds a new dimension totally. The time reaction time with the sea skimmers and the new platforms is very little. So if you can outrange your adversary with the missile range, then you have achieved a success. Over here, you do not allow the adversary to outrange you. When the INS Virat casts off, it's almost as if the harbor waters welcome a mighty power with an invisible salute. Slow ahead, starboard. Slow ahead, starboard. But steering the 750 feet long and 28,000 ton aircraft carrier out of the harbor and into the high seas is no mean feat. It's a critical activity at the start of a prolonged deployment which completely engages the captain, the executive officer and the ship's pilotage team led by the navigation officer. From chalking out route plans to negotiating the traffic in the channel to keeping up with the rendezvous schedule of the ship, the pilotage team's work hours at sea can easily stretch up to 18 hours a day. And once at sea, the compass is inevitably their workspace in combat. As uh, the navigation officer of this extremely prestigious aircraft carrier, uh, the first question that really comes to my mind is that, in unlike the other services, I understand the Navy has and pays a lot of emphasis on specialization. So uh, do you see yourself as a specialist in the field of navigation? Sir, I am a specialist. Uh, we oh, have uh, four specializations. Navigation and Direction, Gunnery, Anti-Submarine and Communications. I happen to have specialized in Navigation and Direction. So I am very much a specialist to be the Navigating Officer. See, this is a highly sensitive and a specialized appointment. One of the things that really comes to my mind is that in the event of a contingency, you are indisposed, you are not well, you get wounded. How does the ship then get navigated? Uh, 
Uh, so the aircraft carrier is unique in the fact that uh, this is the only ship in the Navy which probably has uh, at any given time seven specialist navigators as part of the direction team. Their primary job is to be uh, directing the fighter aircrafts and the helicopters. But in case I am indisposed and I am not available for this job, one of them is always available who can come and take over as the navigating officer and be able to perform all the requirements that are there from this uh, job. In sum, if I would summarize it and to put a pun to it, while you are at sea, you ensure that nobody else is really at sea. Yes, you could say that. The aircraft carrier rarely travels alone. Like a sea monarch, she moves with an ensemble cast of warships like corvettes, destroyers, frigates and submarines. They form a circle of might around her assigned to protect their premier. And together, they form the deadly carrier battle group. So many aircraft, so little space. This also makes the flight deck one of the most dangerous work environments in the world.